In this video, we'll discuss about JVM, JRD, and JDK. So, what is JVM? What is JRD? And what is JDK? We'll talk about everything in this video. Let's start. So what JVM stands for? JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. So whenever you are writing any Java code in your .java file, then you need JVM for executing that Java file. So what JVM does? It runs your Java code. So for running a Java code, we need several dependencies. So what are those? Those are JVM, JDK and JRE. We'll talk about everything in this video in detail. So let me at first distinguish between JDK, JVM and JRE. So what is basically JVM? We can say that JVM is the subset of a JRE. As you can see that JVM is written over there. So what are the tasks of JVM? It loads the code that you write, it provides the runtime environment, it verifies the code and it executes the code. So these are the properties of JVM. And what is JRE? JRE contains the library classes in Java we have several library classes those are java.itum.star java.i.star these are the several library classes we have many library classes so JRE contains all those library classes as well as our JVM and our JRE exists physically our JVM doesn't exist physically but JRE exists physically we don't have any physical version of our JVM so we can say that within JRE we have our library classes and JVM and the last layer is called development tools within JDK we have the development tools. so what are the development tools we have applet we have FX we have many security tools within JDK and a JDK contains a JRE a JRE contains JVM so if we have the JDK do we have JRE yes we have the JRE so interview often ask you that what is the difference between JRE and JDK then you can tell them that these are the difference between JDK and JRE if you have the JDK then you have everything you have the development tools you have the library classes and you have the JVM if you have JRE then you will only have the library classes and JVM and you cannot have the JVM explicitly because JVM doesn't physically exist so you must have JRE to have JVM and my last point is can you run a Java file without JVM no you cannot run a Java file without JVM can you run a Java file without JRE no, you cannot run a Java file without JRE because JRE provides the library classes and within the JRE we have the JVM. If you have the JRE, you can run a Java file. With the help of JRE, we can run a Java file. But I have the last question that is if you don't have JDK but you have JRE, can you run a Java file? Yes, you can run a Java file. If you don't have JDK but you have a JRE, you can run a Java file because JRE provides the runtime environment and Java virtual machine. So I think these portions are clear. What is JDK? What is JVM? And what is JRE? In the next video, we'll start with a new topic. See you in the next video.